Hello, my name is Terry Luján and today I'm going to go through the project that I made for the Valencia's Public Libraries. This is the index page and the uh, contents that I'm going to cover in this video. So as an introduction, basically Valencia City Council is considering to launch a mobile application for the uh, city public libraries where they aim to uh, make a, a digital product to simplify the reservation of books, the return of books, um, and other type of media that they offer in um, the libraries. Also, uh, having this product in mind, they might be taking advantage of the development of this application, considering other type of uh, features and services, such as contact details, uh, locations of reading centers, or even user-generated information, such as reviews, reading digital books, or saving quotes. So starting with the research, first of all, I I did like some um research about the environment, but I want to skip that part and go into the system, because um sixty five percent of the public libraries lack both money and staff. I found this online, um so this is part of a secondary research that I made, and also there's a rise number of people um that are using the library services so. Uh, there's a lack of money and stuff, but at the same time, people really want to use them. And uh, as you can see, there's a growth from the 28.7% uh, to a 37.1%. So the application design should not only be an extension of all the activities that can be carried out in the library, but also a digital to tool to facilitate a quicker and simpler discovery. There was a Spanish federation that is identified as FESA, FESA BID that encourages the utilization of of an appreciation for resources like libraries, museums, and other cultural significant areas that support society's intellectual vitality. So there had a um, document that was uh, analyzing a bill after the economic crisis, how the libraries and the public, uh, especially the public ones, um, how they were, they were comparing them to a new discovery da data. And uh, some of these results indicate how this, there's a massive growth in um, the people wanting to use these facilities. So going into demographics, the Valencia's public libraries, demographics are in between 15 to 45 years old. But the people that visit the most libraries are the people between 15 and 24. And this is, we assume, mostly because there's it's people that study. So basically, we can uh, say that from prime from secondary research, the main uh, target is uh, people from um fifteen to twenty four years old. Now I'm going to go through the benchmark. I analyzed a few different library apps that are uh, like focusing on the actual uh, library procedures, and then I uh, analyzed a bit about of the environment and how these interact with a. Uh, the, library, the actual library apps. So one of the most uh, popular library apps that I saw and I liked a lot how all of the practices are made was the New York Public Library. And it has been designed to help discover, borrow and access the library's collection of books, audiobooks and digital resources. So this is one of the biggest uh, libraries that exists in the world. And it's uh, especially due to his their, to their historical amount of books so I divided the features in between primary and secondary. And uh, for example, some of the primary features that I loved about the New York Public Library is that you can borrow and renew materials. Um, they have a library card. So in case you need to uh, make any acquisition or you have to borrow anything, you make use of the library card even to access the actual library. They have digital resources such as ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, and, re and research databases, um, as well as many events and programs. So this really assimilates a lot to what the public uh, libraries in Valencia do have. Although they have an app which design-wise is pretty outdated. And secondary resources that they have is mm, the account management and also re uh, reading recommendations which uh, people can put in the app. Another library that, that I analyzed that was reaching features was one from Spain that's in Badajoz. And basically the app has also the purpose to allow users to borrow and access the different collections of books that they have. 
um, just like um, other libraries in Spain do, but they have a digital system. So in, as primary features, they have a library ID card where you can create your ID a card a, inside the app. Also, they have a wide catalog with different collections of books, audiobooks, and other digital resources. Also, they have a social platform, which is really interesting how they allow users to exchange books between each other. And even they have the availability to read the book online through the app. Um, so they have a, they are really rich in features, especially the primary ones. And as secondary ones, they have accessibility features with the possibility to change the reading format, the type of size of font, um, and important information of the book, such as author and publication dates with a lot of information that for some people might be not relevant, but for others might be really relevant. Following with the benchmark, I'm going to go quickly through the environmental apps, which are reading book apps and others. And I analyzed Apple Books, which uh, again, it's it's an application to read books on Apple devices, such as iPhone, iPad, and Mac. And it was important to understand how environments of similar apps have a close relationship with the one in the brief. As for primary features, I identify how user-friendly the interface is and how easy to use. And as well, um, how they have voiceover, they have a bookshelf that displays all of the downloaded books and a library that allows to browse and purchase, and purchase new books. Of course, these apps that I'm going to show, some of them have even subscription subscriptions, but because I am working with a public entity, this cannot be happening. We cannot have anything monetary in the app because everything's taken care of by the government and the council. Another app that, that is made as a social platform for book lovers is Goodreads, and I thought it was really interesting because um, it's a really good app to discover and recommend books as it personalizes um, reviews and it allows to have a reading history of all the books that you have read. Also, uh, there's book tracking and organization and also you can have and participate in discussions and even there's events where people can go to. And secondary features are like you can book scan, you can not only search through title and author, but you can do other things. Um, also, there are, as I said, um, well, there's a, in, a Kindle integra integration, which is the second app that I'm going to analyze. And this one is like Apple, like, like Apple Books, but it's owned by Amazon. And they have um, different services like customizable reading experience, again, changing font size, similar to Apple Books. There is also a syncing across devices like Apple Books, but it's in uh, the devices that you can only have Amazon and offline reading, which allows you to read without needing any Wi-Fi. Also, something that is really interesting is that this app allows to use to share book recommendations in the app, as well as in Goodreads. So they all share really common, many common features. So as conclusions, many of these apps um, have sim similar and differential features. And I selected a few of them for um, that we will talk afterwards for the creation of the app. Now I'm going to talk about the users and um, how what I did to find what the user of this app and the main one would be. So first of all, I did an analysis based on primary research and secondary research on the assumptions on what the target audience is. And as I said before, um, the world of digital digitalization has come in a point where the generation Z show more interest and adaptability of completing actions through the screen rather than going somewhere physically. So it's not only about common sense and what um, the younger generations are used to, that is technology basically, but also is the uh, people that use the library the most. So it makes sense that this is w probably one of the primary targets. I made an empathy map with the different things that uh, users could hear, think and feel, see and say and do. So, as well as with different pains and gains that they might have. Um, this allowed me to make an interview and uh, ask the questions that I think were most appropriate most appropriate for uh, for me uh, to understand what the user really wanted. So, 
rather than getting to know specifically specifically the routines of people that use these um libraries i thought that um with the preconceived notions we had the young audience are to, to corroborate whether the app would be used as a substitute or not so basically what we wanted to know is if actually people would think there's a need for this for this app to be created um given the previous um research i am i carried these um interviews to people from 16 to 24 years old as it is the age group that makes most frequent use of these public libraries here are the conclusions that I got from the questions that I asked. I met with people my age in some of the libraries in Valencia and also with uh, people that I know that use these libraries and I got these conclusions. So many people, per se, most people would use the digital app as you can see in the app usage pie, pie chart. And uh, most of them have a low income because probably and many people are studying, um, so their occupation is students and is one of the majority of the pie chart. Um, so this mainly make two buyer personas, one that is the primary target and basically focuses on the Gen Z and a person that really wants to um, read books just for entertainment and as well for uh, university. He lives in a um, a apartment with students and also uh, he finds difficult to uh, balance social study life and primarily uses the library to study. The other a buyer persona which is the secondary target is um, a mother or a parent that um, she wants to enroll children in different activities that will help them to learn different skills and in the Valencia Public Libraries because there are a few events that um, kids may attend to, she would take care of um, navigating in the top. This is a customer, the customer journey, which is uh, the different stages that the person will go through. And basically, um, I took into account the thoughts, actions, emotions, expectations, and different improvements that we could do in order to start thinking about different functions and features that the app could have. Moving into the uh, app and how it's going to be developed so first of all i i gathered the f the functions and features that i thought were most prominent in other apps and in in what i thought it would fit best for the main primary target which is a uh, people between 15 to 24 years old and i started uh, making sketches of different wireframes um here there's the wireframes for the access of the app the preferences and genre, especially because I wanted to create such like a kind of algorithm where the people could choose um, the different tastes and what they're into. So um, the app would show a more tailored version of um, the media they like. Also, there's the homepage and search and reviews and notifications because I wanted the app to have um, a place where people could write about the books they love and comment about about them and after this i made a validation of these wireframes of course there's more wireframes you can click the link to the project in figma in at the end of this um, document and you'll be to see all the other screens that were wireframed and vali uh, and therefore validated People had many questions regarding to the different stages that I um, asked about and that I made them go through. So, for example, in the registration part, may many people thought um, that maybe it, was it wasn't safe or the how would they receive their physical library card. Also, there were people that were asking if the books were free, which is something that still um, has to be addressed somehow. Um, and the other different questions that I needed to know before making the actual application so this could be resolved. After all of this uh, research and data, I found different ideas and solutions that I could make for different categories, the different categories that you can see on screen. Um, one of them was to uh, give the ability to cancel any reservation after they reserved the reservation. Also to have um, a filter feature where they could use different tags and filter everything that they had on uh, that they basically to filter the catalog 
and that's basically the whole summary. Moving into the design part, first of all, we had to take into account that um, the application of the Valencia's libraries needed a brand new design system due to not having other external resources to rely on. So we had to create um, from scratch a new a, a UI kit for the, for the public entity to have in just in case the, when other people come in, they have something to work uh, with. So the main thing was creating a logo, which it was based on books, uh, of course, which uh, is the principal source that is consciously attached to the library. In another way, we wanted to um, bring a modern approach to the typical phrase of a wide open book. So it's constructed with rectangles that dock in a semicircle and hence not only gives the effect of an open book, but also books stacking with each other from a library shelf. So here's the logo or the symbol in positive and negative. And then the construction of the final lockup, which is also um, used and uh, was created used using two different squares that divide the symbol and the uh, word marks and uh, as well the positive and negative uh, lockup. As for the primary colors, um, I chose a revamped blue that gives to a, give a sense of purpose to the communication of the app. The color choice is unique to the identity as it enhances a new digital experience for a public institution and it goes against the normative outdated digital products. In addition, it's perfectly tailored for the eye of the beholder as it still plays with contrast with the light and dark colors allowing the user to read and to understand all menus with no difficulty. So the new color not only accents the appearance of the app, but also complements the values, as it is often associated with knowledge, intelligence, and wisdom, hence evokes a sense of trust and dependability, which is found to be important to be reflected for such a service. The base colors are the gray base and the library black, which have different um, tints that are going to be used in different graphic elements and for the development of the app. And then the secondary colors, which are meant to complement and support the primary colors for accessibility purposes and variations and alternations of content. For the typography, we chose El Helvetica Neue, which is an uncomplicated gen uh, general font and that has a conceivable, conceivable letter set, keeping the text as simple and attainable so that the reader doesn't need to spend extra time understanding what has been planned, enhancing user experience since the very beginning. As for the typographic norms, um, here we can see the headlines, subheadings, and body text. Basically, um, all headlines will or may appear in both lower and upper case. Um, the page headlines are in lowercase letters with bigger uh, sizes, but uh, and the header for the media presented in the catalog are in uppercase. This is due to usability purposes, as it can make the text more readable and legible, which especially for shorter texts which is important for users who, ha who may have visual impairments or difficulty reading small text. Um, sim the same thing will happen for subheadings, but for body text, it will be important to avoid using uppercase uh, to avoid long blocks of text, as it can be harder to read. The icons were, uh, are a simple rep representation of Valencia's public library system. They are built on a 32 times 32 grid, and they were created using the iOS guidelines and the maximum size will depend dep depending on the um, purpose of the app and the device. In this UI kit, we also made a set of buttons, which will you have a primary set, which is um, made out of the uh, corporate blue colors, and a secondary set, which is uh, uh, made of a uh, white color. However, within this um, set, there's primary and secondary buttons where uh, and they, these are used depending on the importance of the different types of attention they want to be given in the app. We also developed a set of inputs, uh, book cards, which come in three different sizes for three different um, types of media, which are books, CDs, and DVDs. And these are the cards in context and how they would look. The navigation bar is positioned at the bottom of the screen, and it has been design for each a uh, navigation to have an icon followed with a text for accuracy and to avoid misunderstandings 
with field and regular weight icons that indicate an active status. Regular outline icons indicate inactive states. When, navigation, when a navigation bar icon is tapped or focused, the user is taken to the navigation destination associated with the icon. The navigation bar with one field icon with corporate blue color that is contrasting to show the active state and three outline icons showing inactive states. Only use the navigation bars on mobile and small tablet interfaces. So for the final design, here are the different flows that I chose to show in the presentation. But as I said before, at the end of the presentation, you'll find the link to the, um, pro the whole project in Figma. And basically, after gathering all the feedback, I decided to um, show here the homepage and search spaces. In the homepage, I decided to showcase the different services that were uh, provided in the um, library. This is because um, people don't need to go and try to find where things are if you're already giving it, giving it to them. So um, it was a more of an accessibility point of view. When click, these are supposed to be programmed for them to open overlays or to scroll where the media selected is. So basically, if you're pressing into books or films or music, the screen will scroll automatically down to where the section of books and music is. For the reservation process, um, it was simplified as much as possible because um, when I was testing the wireframes, people were saying that the process was too long and a bit complicated. So um, I decided to only put an input where you can choose the closest library. And once that's chosen, automatically all the adjustments are placed so the user can read, get informed and click the reserve button before getting in the confirmation. It is simple, quick and avoids the need to go through various long steps. Moreover, once you have reserved, you get a confirmation and a book code. This book code will allow you to go into the desk and get the book code immediately be, and without having to use any paper and also staff without needing to write any forms or any piece of information that uh, they are asked to do now. Both the events and kids page were developed in order to have a particular coherence that could simultaneously be differentiated with all of the media that was pre presented in the browse page. This has been achieved by changing the look of the cards, both with sizes and form. Um, this is especially what, something that we decided also to do is to make it only vertical because there's no many events happening at the same time. With a vertical um, positioning of the cards, you can scroll down and, see, and seek for the six to seven events that they might be taking place. Finally, uh, something that also was considered and we bumped was the profile and library card, as well as the reservation management. The profile part is one of the main branches of the, of the app. So basically, each member that signs up to the library um, has to create a profile in order to track the different events they attend, the different media lists, and the, all of the re reviews they write. It was important to create a sense of community, and therefore, with these profiles, everyone can get recommendations and recognize different people as they navigate along. So uh, this is part. This part was specifically placed at the uh, with different primary buttons that allow the user to open the library card when they have access when they need access to the different facilities, as well as being able to edit their profile whenever they want. This is accessible as well as all the personal information um, that belongs to them uh, will be in that branch that is all about the per, uh, the personal profile. It also includes a, a part where they can manage all of the reservations made in case they need to extend deadlines or cancel a reservation from their profile. Brands they're able to see every piece of media they reserved and manage them to uh, really easily as it is a matter of a few clicks. In these next few slides, uh, uh, you could see the final overview of the app and how the design is looking. Mainly, the concept revolved around having something that was accessible and usable, but especially having a contemporary look, um, something clean, nice, and soft that could appear that could appeal to a younger generation, but also that could other people, especially people that have kids and that uh, need these services, um, are able to use it freely and perfectly without any trouble. This is basically it. Thank you for watching. Um, if if you are interested in more and you guys want to know more about the application, here I left at, uh, two links where you can access the app project and the UI kit. So yeah, that's all. Thank you.